Oh boy, it looks like we finally got a response from Milo. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Here's the score, dude. For the last five months or more, you have been tagging me in posts and comments incessantly. So incessantly, in fact, that I have had to restrict all tags on my account since my whole tagged feed was clogged in just your videos. Maybe to you this comes across as dedication, but to me it comes across as hounding and incredibly frustrating and frankly rude. I am capable of doing only so many projects at once and have to carefully pick what I want to dedicate my time to. Repeatedly tagging me in videos and comments does not make you entitled to my time and attention. You have made no attempt to contact me professionally via email to discuss a pitch, project, or even make a real introduction. Why don't we extrapolate your logic here a little bit? I'm going to be upfront with you. That's kind of a self-read right there. Piece of evidence number 36 that, uh... <laughs> has no background in other things we actually need. Milo, it is your prerogative to choose to believe whatever you want to pick and choose to believe, but it simply does not make it true. You need to check your DMs because I have been sending you messages for months and I have exchanged multiple comments with you that you then ghosted on after messaging me about. Stop feigning like I haven't tried numerous ways to get in contact with you. Never mind, email is not the only official way to get a hold of someone, no less. Especially with someone who had already acknowledged receiving my messages through Instagram first. That one would presume that the continued way to con communicate with each other would be that way that you started communicating with me until you express some sort of preference otherwise. In no shape, way, or form, in any of the handful of messages that you responded back to me with, did you indicate that you preferred me to reach out to you through email? That would have been an intricate and key thing to say if you were actually concerned about making sure information that you spread is true. If I was so incessantly trying to get a hold of you, do you think I wouldn't have emailed you if I thought I'd have gotten a hold of you? You messaged me back. You said you were busy. Then you spent five months dicking off and then I watched you making content after content. And Graham Hancock, so important, it was worth your time to go out and make a video about it. You already acknowledged my comments. To then further email you while I was waiting for you to get back would be hounding you. Do you think I wouldn't have emailed you? You know what, Milo? Maybe you should have been the one to email me with a pitch for your video so that you can address the things you said. It is not my responsibility to email you to correct you on your things. I will make content about you because guess what? I'm not the one who is making the false statements. If you would like to give a response in this, I would happily work with you. You're the one making the false comments. Not me. You're the one who acknowledged I was trying to get a hold of you for five months and just ignored everything I sent you. You need to stop lying now because this is embarrassing. Calling you out for fraud and sharing false information, something that you pretty much only do as a creator anymore, is not hounding you is not rude. I really cannot believe this is your response. Uh, honestly, this is just another testament to just how willing you are to stretch reality, to not have to take any sort of accountability with what you put out onto the internet and what you are sharing with people. And as someone who likes to not just metaphorically lecture people on this, who literally lectures on pseudoscience, you, sir, are a piece of work. The audacity that you have to do to other creators what you do to turn around and somehow act like this when someone is rightfully calling you out for the lies and false information that you spread. Wah! How's it going, everybody? My team and I are uh, currently neck deep in trying to edit this Philip Zeba video. I thought it was going to be about two hours long. It's currently almost four. So that we decided we're going to just keep our heads down, keep working on it. To keep the post schedule going, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to release a video that I think all of you will enjoy. I talk a lot about pseudoscience and pseudoarchaeology pretty much all the time, but I've never talked about pseudoarchaeology and pseudoscience as a concept. Why it's dangerous, why people kind of fall into it, and how it's a pipeline into much more dangerous ideologies. What you're about to see is a lecture that I gave at Virginia Tech back a couple months ago. I'd also like to give a big thanks to Virginia Tech for allowing me to speak there. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, enjoy. All right. Frankly, no, I will not stop making videos about charlatans who are spreading false information on the internet. Morty, don't, don't break, break an arm jerking yourself off. Playing around with Graham Hancock over there. Because you're so busy, you have to pick and choose, but you could go out and do this. Well, we've got the camera rolling over on that side. I'm filming my first read-through of uh, Graham Hancock's uh, hit piece on me. Um, and man, let me tell you, because I am, I am in, in absolute stitches, I want to introduce you to chapter two. Mini Minuteman is a pseudo-archaeologist.
talked about pseudo-archaeology and pseudoscience a lot, because God knows these videos are a dime a dozen. Instead, it seems you feel short-form videos and public comments are sufficient tools for building a rapport with me personally. Like what, dude? Are my 15 to 30 minute long-form videos not long enough for you? <laughs> Why would there be a pyramid in Antarctica? I know something you don't know. Cap. No way. Bullshit. Absolutely fucking not. I am so stoked about the UPS truck being here that I'm even gonna talk about that pyramid anymore because frankly, uh, if it makes me wanna, uh... God, this guy drives me fucking googly bunkers. And secondly, holy shit, what the fuck? Honestly, that's kind of a powerful purpose for the pyramids. <laughs> I thought you said, listen buddy, you don't need any pyramids. Buddy, dude. I was not trying to build a rapport with you. Not after five months of avoiding me and just ignoring any of the claims against you for, for spreading false information to millions of people. I was offering you a chance to save face, but you can choose to sit here and blame me for the repercussions of the work that you've put out, but I don't think that's gonna help you in any way, shape, or form. That's just my opinion, though. Did you really think me joking come out to play? Was me trying to be endearing to you? The fact that you even think that this was me trying to build a rapport with you is a bit indicative of how out of touch you are with yourself. And I'm, I'm gonna be upfront with you. That's kind of a self-read right there. And honestly, man, I love, I love that you didn't address a single thing of any of the stuff I mentioned, which, or any of the reasons for why we're even talking to each other, no, you just came out and wrote a diatribe against me. The, like, honestly, dude, the first words, utterance out of your mouth, make fun of the way I speak. You don't like what, how I spell dude? First things out of your mouth. You had enough time to write all this and attack me personally, but you couldn't address a single thing. Not one bit of physics. Just come out with a diatribe and outright gaslighting and scapegoating, shirking your responsibilities as an ethical content creator. The funny part is, is you claim it's been five months of you incessantly hounding me of messages, but you didn't get a hold of me. So that means you spent five months knowing I was trying to get a hold of you and you just did what? What is going on at Truth Seeker Nation? It's me, Milo Rizzi from the Uncast. And today, I got a fucking truth bomb for you. So I myself, well, I want to do a quick, easy video. You know, a real crowd pleaser. Milo, excuse me, the only people I talk to is not afraid to speak his mind. He's been nothing but pull apart opinions. And research, not a fucking lick of it. Cut from my podcast. We all know that there's nothing I respect more than a guy who's willing to say something even though it's not true. So I thought to myself, I'm going to go Milo to the entire channel. I'm going to meticulously compile all of his truth bombs so I can share them with you. And so that's exactly what I did. And oh my god, you people will not fucking imagine the things he says. Nothing? turn around and then claim I'm the bad guy here because you won't address the issues and the false information you're spreading on the internet. But this video to be long and raw. I don't want to silence because <laughs> this, it's fucking job security. The nice thing about what I do for a living is that as long as there is stupid people, I can pay my fucking mortgage. Got it. Not true. So I thought to myself, well, this video's on the editing table. I want to do some research of my own. I decided to take a page out of Philo's book and whatever will blow your mind. So biddies and alpha males, I want to love you guys back to this very special episode today. I'm going to tell you the truth about the Bass Pro Shop period. So busy. No, Graham Hancock said physics. Absolutely wrong. Milo, did you do your own research or did you just accoutrement to the tip? I don't we even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. <sighs> no, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people going. It's it's disgusting. Disgusting. That's the Butterfly effect be crazy. Anyway, come on. That's lame, dude. He just states it like it's facts. Maybe you should have Googled it, and then you wouldn't have had to make a video where he just puts on this persona of being like the smug, cold heart fact kind of guy. Frankly, I think this part that he's putting forward online is kind of a douche. So it's like, we're really gonna trigger some people today, but you kind of get the character that we're working with here. No, I'm not trying to silence Milo. I'm literally just trying to do his own physics research for him. And so because he's gaining his physics input from Ancient Apocalypse, then Graham Hancock on Joe Rogan, two people who do a terrible job of representing wave mechanics. He thinks he knows what physics stands for, which is absolute bullshit. And I want to make clear that the difference between studying harmonics and resonances of a guitar string and any other vibrating object whole life and what these people are doing is that milo speaking like they are an authority figure like they know better than us man let me tell you this thing's a wild ride about pseudo-archaeology and pseudoscience a lot because god knows these videos are a dime a dozen pseudoscience pipeline pipeline that the algorithm of these apps literally encourages cap no way Bull <laughs> absolutely f ridiculous i think i rest my case i do think it's very funny though watching archaeology clearly have one source for all of their information just listen to graham hancock 
Hancock once, Graham Hancock said that one over and over again and clearly not doing any more digging into any physics, basic wave mechanics, harmonics and resonances of a guitar string and any other vibrating object. Does Graham Hancock look like a fucking physicist to you? No, no it doesn't, I know, and clearly not doing any more digging into any particular topic. Oh, what a surprise, hmm. Just ridiculous. But you know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm actually the deluded one here for thinking you were even a respectable scientist. You kind of miss out on all the nuance and instead all you get is like a frat bro gatekeeper of archaeology. You can be as interested in archaeology as you want, but don't fucking talk about physics. You kind of just end up looking like a goober. At least now I know you don't respect yourself enough to admit when you're wrong. To have a little bit of humility, even Dr. Blitz made a public comment after my video about him acknowledging what he got wrong, apologizing for the one thing he didn't even know was a thing that could, shouldn't be done. Taking ownership of his actions. Taking ownership of the information he put out. And guess what, Milo? We moved on like adults. <laughs> you, you, like this. I'm pretty sure there are textbooks written about scapegoatism exactly like this. I am probably the idiot here. Because even until you sent that message, I still held out chance that, you know what? Maybe he just got it wrong. And like, maybe it's just, you know, sometimes it's just the way it is in certain fields. And maybe I'm seeing this wrong. But nope. You just proved every single thing I had been told about you by thousands of people with this single message. And to turn around because you spent five months knowingly avoiding me. You just admitted you knew for five months. It was so incessant that you had to go stop tags on your thing. So you've known for five months. Milo, if there is a clip of you in one of my videos, I'm going to tag you in my video as that is the purpose of the tag feature, to tag other people who are in the content. I edited your footage and then I tag you in those videos. I also then tag you in the posts that I have of the peer-reviewed papers that I post sharing the backed up information I have that prove all of the things I've been claiming and outright prove you wrong. You gotta break them off something. And it's gotta be bumping, city of Compton. It's where it takes place, so a national attention. Mop with the dog for an hour, wow, wow. Maybe address those. Maybe address the hundreds of posts I've made proving these things and proving you are spreading outright falsehoods and outlandish claims. Dropping the funky tracks, making the suckers just bump. When I'm on the mic, it's like a cookie, they all grow. Try to get close, so you're bound to get smacked. My little homie Snoop Doggy Dog has got my back. No. Are you kidding me? Maybe you shouldn't have been shotgunning so many falsehoods onto the internet. I'm so stoked about the UPS truck being here that I'm even going to talk about that pyramid anymore because frankly, uh, if it makes me want to, uh... God, this guy drives me fucking Google debunkers. And secondly, holy shit, what the fuck? Honestly, that's kind of a powerful purpose for the pyramids. <laughs> I thought you said, listen, buddy, you don't need any pyramids. I'm going to bludgeon myself over the head with this bottle so I can be thinking on the same level as you. To cash in on ad revenue. I don't want to silence. Because <laughs> this, it's fucking job security. The nice thing about what I do for a living is that as long as there is stupid people, I can pay my fucking mortgage. Got it. Not true. Before you got to a place where you couldn't keep up with putting out your own fire. Yeah, that's totally my doing. I totally caused this upon you. All that said, I formally retract any discussion of collaboration together and politely request that you stop tagging me in all future posts. Please take this advice to heart for any other creators you may wish to work with in the future and wish you the best. Buddy. Even the massive, to me, the massive collab we did with Integza, the entire thing was initiated, conducted through DMs on Instagram. In fact, I actually first got a hold of him on a comment in one of his videos. He commented back with me and then we DM'd each other. And that went on up until the point where we then went and communicated personally between each other on Signal. Stop acting like you avoiding me for five months is somehow me not going out of my way to find numerous ways to contact you and get a hold of you. So, this is Charlie, and what makes him special enough for me to make a video about him is the fact that he built this weird turbine. You're a TikTok creator for God's sakes, you're not a fucking movie star, buddy. Get back down here on the earth with the rest of us mortals. Sorry, I don't make three hour long videos of just me vomiting nonsense like you do. Let's do a quick easy video, you know, a real crowd please. I thought it was gonna be about two hours long, it's currently almost four. So because of that we decided I don't want to silence because <laughs> this, it's fucking job security. The nice thing about what I do for a living is that as long as there are stupid people, I can pay my fucking mortgage. Got it. Not true. Ball's in your court, Milo. <laughs>
You can be as interested in archaeology as you want, but don't fucking talk about physics. You kind of just end up looking like a goober. And now we put it all together. Here's Philo, both smug and wrong.